Hello again. Well, it's almost two years to the day since I first came here. And I thought, you know, hilltop course, £15 green fee. This probably isn't going to be very good. And I've never been so wrong. Well, not since my first marriage have I ever been so wrong. This place blew my socks off. The opening hole is a gentle dog leg to the right. From this far forward, I generally aim a little right of the marker post with a hybrid. Oh dear, it looks like we're starting the first hole from the 18th fairway. The green has a large step in it, so dis distance control is very important. And a semi knife is not good. But if you want to see an opening birdie, hit the like button right now. The second is a par three. It plays slightly uphill and the wind plays quite a part on your club selection. Missing it makes life very difficult. I'm just on the lower level. Two putts will do me just fine. There's five par threes on this course and each one is different and a lot of fun. Third is a par 5, and this is where we get onto the hilltop proper. You're not going to reach the top, so hit it smooth. I've gone in the left rough. You pick a spot between the two extremes of trees left and trees right. <laughs> and that'll leave you a pitch of some sort into the green. Now this green runs away from you so you need to have a little care. Fourth comes straight back, and with a reasonable drive, you can get pretty close. And that wasn't a reasonable drive, so I'm in the left rough and most definitely short. The green runs away from you again, so no matter how well you pitch, chances are you're not going to be close. One important thing to remember is the golf course does not charge you oh, wow. for the view. Now we go down 5, which is a bit of a tough par force. I prefer 
to favour the left hand side. There is a marker post. And I've gone the right side of it, which pops me in the rough. Now there's water in front of the green. And on those days when you've got a four iron in, it's not much fun. But with only a nine, we can keep left of this smelly right flag and rack up a par with ease. Probably the most important shot in golf, doing the tidy up when you've made a mistake. You know, from my uh, very first visit, I said the par threes here are probably the most fun I've ever had. Five par threes, all different, all got a different challenge. Take six here, it slopes heavily from back to front and it comes down in little waves and steps to the front. And it's got to be closer to 40 yards long than 30. So there's a whole load of pin positions. And the one thing you can't do with any of the pin positions is go past the flag. So clubbing, especially when it's windy and you're 35, 40 yards back off the whites, is so important. And this is just, it's just an immense amount of fun and a challenge to the old brain box to work it out. I'm just teeing off here now from the yellows, so uh, let's see how well I can actually do with the old brain box. An absolutely brilliant hole and a fun green. Being short of the flag is important. Being straight is also important. Front right of this green is not the place to be. Seven is a long dogleg right going round the shoulder of the hill. Getting out to the left will give you a view of this hole that I've never had a par on. Six iron in, enjoy the view while I hit it fat. This green is very, very difficult to chip to. very hard bounce left off a funny little side slope. As I say, I've yet to crack this hole. But as they give me a shot on it, I think that's right. Next we go to the downhill eighth, which is over my right shoulder on the left of the screen. And that's where we can have a bit of fun. Second par 5 is over a quarry, and I have learnt to my cost that it's best not to bite off more than you can chew. With out of bounds down the right and deep rough down the left, and a little pond to the left of the green, and taking a club that isn't quite going to reach is a good idea. With the ball below the feet, 
you know it's going to slide, so let it slide. Long chip and run, and off that upslope it popped up a bit, so that's my mistake. I should have taken a club less. But the easy nine is over, the hard nine then begins. Well that's the easy nine done and it's been done rather well considering there's you know the help of there being no wind. So we go to 10 now, I change the battery and we start back with a 200 yard par 3 which again is a huge amount of fun. On to 10, now from the tee box you can't really see just how big the landing pad is, it is quite generous. So even if you pop one up and don't quite make it, the chip and run isn't overly difficult. And another little putt to have a sweat over. With the deep stuff down the right of 11, I like to aim a little bit further inland and hit a fade. I've just kind of overdone that a bit, so we're still in the rough. The fairway slopes left to right once we get over the brow of the hill, so I'm more than happy to aim down the first cut on the left side of the fairway. Well, whether it makes it or not, I don't know. But we've got a birdie chance. Twelfth is a funny little dogleg round some grass bunkers. If you can hit it over the left hand one, that's a pretty decent line. Other than that, you've got to go a little safer. But it does present you with one of the hardest shots in golf. The uphill wedge. The green's got a big step in it. I fail to carry it by about a foot. Now the big mistake here coming up the step is hitting too hard. As you can see, I didn't have to hit that particularly hard whatsoever. And we got ourselves nine inches of tap in for par. Onto the par 5 13th. Now the yellow tee is 90 yards forward. But it's offset to the left, so you do have to drive it a little bit to the right but that was a lot to the right. With a ditch across the fairway, you are forced to lay up. I play this as a three-shotter, even if I hit an absolute peach right down the fairway. Don't want to miss it to the right. So instead of that, we'll hit one of those semi-thin shots left. There's no par here. Not unless I hit the flag stick, so mark me down for a bogey. Well then, you made it to the top. Here you are. Highest tea box in Great Britain, United Kingdom, Wales, whatever. 
So now you're no longer a virgin. When you finish a round, go in the bar. Tell the lady behind the bar you've lost your virginity and get your certificate. And then tell all your mates and come back. 14. There's a little ditch that runs across the fairway down there, so you've got to be aware of what direction the wind's blowing in. I got driver, seeing as I'm not driving it particularly well. The hole itself is downhill. There's a drainage ditch across the fairway. So you have to be aware of what the wind is doing today. I've hit a horrible drive. I'm going to follow that up with a horrible wedge. And just for good measure, I think I'll have a horrible putt too. But this is a great green, very entertaining if you're the wrong side of the flag. Fifteen is very much like the seventh, going round the shoulder of the hill. What I would say is if, if there is anyone on the sixteenth green, let them get out of the way before you tee off. It's not often I can see the top of the flag. This time I can, which means I can hit the green. I can get one of my very rare pars on this hole. Just like seven, it's a green I very rarely find in two. If you ever get two pars out of seven and fifteen, you're having a good day. Now we go back along the fairway, 150 yards to find the sixteenth. And this camera does not show you just how steep it is down this hill. I'm going five wood. Sadly, I've let it go a bit, so I'm out to the right. But it's a simple pitching wedge, chip and run. And if we get it right, we'll have about four feet. Hard to believe this long hole is a par three, but you've got to see it to believe it. It is a huge amount of fun until you misread your tidy up. We got a 17, one of the best par threes I've ever played. It's a clover leaf. it's set among some mounds. You can't quite see it from where I'm teeing off. But it is a fantastic par three. And the green looks a bit like that, with a flag over in the left hand part of the clover leaf. Ooh, well done, young man. Well, we're near the end. I hope you can see now why I love this place so much and why it's so much fun and why I keep coming back. So pay your visit. Do you know what? I'm absolutely gagging for a drink. Let's get 18 done, get in the bar, have a bit of a wet, Cheerio!